Anthony K? Silva looked at the visitor with a startled expression. How can you be here? It was, just as Silva had exclaimed, Anthony K approaching Aiden now. Anthony smiled at Aiden and his family at first, and then turned to Silva, the welcoming temperature in his eyes gradually cooling. Mr. Silva, does your father Duke Silva know that you're attempting to commit theft in a foreign country? Anthony's words made Silva's face darken. Mr. K, I'm not attempting anything. This car should belong to me, and I'm paying more than fairly for it. Oh? Anthony gave a cocky half-smile. So if I told your father what you've done today, do you expect he will be supportive of you? He's my father. He will certainly support me. But what if I told him that the business deal between K Group and the Silva family was canceled? Anthony's words made Silva look shocked. K Group had made many deals with the Silva family over the years, and it had been mutually beneficial for both parties. K, are you crazy? Silva gritted his teeth and added, Do you know how much money your group will lose? Anthony shrugged his shoulders indifferently. Sometimes it's okay to take a little loss in exchange for morality and dignity. It's all the better, even. Anthony's righteous words immediately won the favor of the onlookers. Even those who did not know who he was felt the breadth of his charm in an instant. Aiden scanned the two, and he got a lot of information from their dynamics within the conversation. Anthony and K Group had both originated from the Bayside District, Aiden's hometown. Therefore, for a long time, Aiden had believed that his influence was rather restricted to the Bayside District area. Now, Silva's words made Aiden believe that Anthony's business in foreign countries was even more important than his work in the United States. He regarded the money he made from the Silva family a little loss, but Aiden knew it had to be a large amount. Aiden stared, musing that he really hadn't made friends with Anthony in vain. On the other hand, Silva was infuriated by Anthony's attitude. I don't care. I will never let go of this car. Even if you sue my father for everything he's worth, it's useless. It will be mine, he raged. I don't care what my father says. You'll have to burn my house to the ground before I will accept anything less than that car in my garage. The more Silva talked, the louder, bigger, and more arrogant he became. The villagers were awed by Silva's sheer momentum and became silent. The Dale family members all frowned deeply, wondering how Aiden would take care of this mess. Anthony was also clearly getting a headache from Silva's entitled stubbornness. For a while, he wasn't sure what to do, and he grasped at the bridge of his nose. Holden straightened up. Maybe he would get his final revenge on Aiden after all. While Silva continued to rant, full of pride, he froze again when he heard an old but moderate voice coming from outside the crowd. How about if the government were to interfere? What if the government interfered? That was quite a bold thing to say, but everyone heard the same thing. Their ears clearly told them that someone had spoken that sentence. The tone was loud and clear, unafraid. The startled people made way for the person who had said it. In the gap in the crowd, people could clearly see two older men standing quietly at the edge of the large group. They both wore the same military green coat and the same retro camouflage leather shoes. Their arms were both crossed casually, and they looked rather relaxed, more like they were two farmers chatting with each other about their work than representatives of the government. Silva frowned at the two men, disgusted. You two country bumpkins dare to speak out against a foreign dignitary? Go and plant your fields, don't make trouble. But while Silva was disdainful toward the men, everyone around him was shocked and embarrassed at his attitude. Shut up, Silva! It was not Aiden, Anthony, or anyone else Silva would have expected who had said it. It was Holden. At this time, Holden was baring his teeth and looking at Silva in horror. Silva looked confused, his voice going from a roar to muddled in an instant. Guilford, are you crazy? Holden, however, did not care about Silva. He quickly wiped the cold sweat on his face and nervously eyed the two older men. He was standing stiff as a board, regarding them with care. Mr. Wiles... Mr. Hemingway, please don't take him seriously. He doesn't know who you are, I'm sure. Hearing that Holden was asking the men to not take him seriously, Silva immediately turned angry again. But when he saw the other people's expressions around him, he froze. Almost everyone was standing straight, like Holden, and looked to the two old men with respectful eyes. That kind of treatment was not usually reserved for ordinary farmers. Silva, seeing this, dropped his voice several decibels and asked uneasily, Who are they, Guilford? They're... 
Holden took a deep breath and was about to report to Silva the gravity of his mistake. But then he began to blink and swat at his face. A violent cloud of dirt was blowing in the air. A gust of dust floated around him and got into his eyes. Holden and Silva were the most affected by the sudden swirling. An approaching humming noise became clearer and clearer as well, indicating that some object in the air was getting closer and closer to the town. Sand resistance ability, plus one. Current level, one. If anyone could have seen what Aiden looked like at that moment, they would have been terrified. The wind and sand was blowing around him but did not stick to him, enveloping him in a strange orb. It was like the sand was water and Aiden was oil. Through the wind and sand, Aiden saw a green military helicopter flying in the sky. That was what was making the noise, which was now distinctly a propeller sound. Recognize a helicopter. Aircraft knowledge, plus one. Aircraft piloting ability, plus one. After the helicopter landed on the flat vegetable field across the street, the propeller stopped turning. The people all around had wide, stunned eyes. Is that really a helicopter? I've never seen one of those in real life before.